Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically. We are in Tiger, Georgia, and today, me and Jen were driving over to Atlanta, Georgia. But uh, on the way, I wanted to just stop real quick and check on uh, one of my favorite attractions out here in the Tiger, Georgia area, goats on the roof. So the main thing I wanted to check on was whether or not it was open and is closed right now. Um, but I was trying to figure out if Goats on the Roof is, um, if it's closed for the season or if it is closed permanently. Um, normally it does shut down during the winter months. They pack up the goats for the winter. Um, but looking online, it said that it says permanently closed and then also the phone number is disconnected and their website is no longer active. Now there is a Goats on the Roof that's opened year round in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Um, this, you know, this is more of a quiet area, less of a tourist area here out in Tiger, but this is the original, the OG Goats on the Roof. So just trying to figure out, yeah, if anyone knows any information, please leave a comment in the comment section, kind of trying to, to do a little detective worth, figure out if this is gonna open back up. So it is, uh, it is almost April, so I would think they'd be gearing up for uh, for an opening, and uh, I guess we'll just have to uh, have to wait and see if they end up opening up for the summer, or if this is it. Maybe they've uh, moved all their resources to Pigeon Forge. There's actually, the goats on the roof in Pigeon Forge is thriving and growing. They have the goat coaster there. They just very recently added the dinosaur mini golf. Seems to be growing, but uh, the original goats on the roof out here in Tiger, uh, I, I worry about it. I worry that maybe uh, maybe we've seen the last of it. At least we can always enjoy the Goats on the Roof in Pigeon Forge. There also was a Goats on the Roof in Helen, Georgia. But that didn't last very long. So I don't know, we may be saying goodbye to a classic attraction out here on the back roads of Georgia. Kind of makes me sad. Jen, what are you doing? I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> did you see? You see? There's uh, there's no goats out there. I know. I was sad when we were coming here. I saw online it was permanently closed. When I went to Babyland General, I wanted to stop, and I was sad. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm uh, put out a put out a, a request if anyone has any information. No, I want to see goats. This is my favorite one. Yeah, you've actually you got a chance to check this out. We went here a year or so ago when yeah. they were when they were open. Yeah, I think when I first came to visit you, you took me here. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, this I hope This is my favorite one. This one's a lot of fun. Yeah. There's no there's no goat coaster, but No, that's true. But it's Oh yeah, I need to go on the goat coaster. Yeah, you still not been on a mountain coaster. No. Well, we'll get you on one. Hopefully. I mean, maybe not hopefully, but maybe. Look, I caught it. Wait, what'd you catch? Um, the Scraggy. Yeah, I was going to say it was the what is it, Hopkinsville? Oh yeah, the the Sable Eyes Basin, the Hopkinsville Goblins. Oh, I got the town right. It That's would be, uh, it'd be, is there any goat themed Pokemon here? Um, I don't know, just, I mean he has little ears and there could be like horns, right? Maybe? No? Oh, did you get him? I don't know. <laughs> Use the, uh, the yellow ball. Oh man, he's tough. I don't even need him, I'm just sitting here like, doo doo doo. Get the guy that I don't need, probably just to trade away. Did you get him? <laughs> There's a lot of pressure here. Hooray! Yay! And while we're out in this area, I wanted to check on another attraction. This is uh, the Tallulah Point. This is a uh, overlook here that overlooks the Tallulah Gorge. And uh, I, I thought this was closed, but uh, apparently it is still closed. This kind of makes me sad. Like these are, you know, these are not too far from where I live. These are some of the early roadside attractions back when I couldn't travel very far from home. These are some of the attractions I would come out and, uh, and visit where I could just drive an hour or two and see it. So I, can't, I would come out here to Tallulah Point all the time. They had like this little covered area in here where you could overlook the gorge and uh, you could overlook 
the area. Apparently it was uh, it was where the uh, Great Walinda, the famous tightrope walker, actually walked across the, the gorge right here in this spot. But uh, looks like looks like it's been closed for some time, and I don't know if there's any plans on reopening it. This is, uh, scenic overlook to Lula Point, Georgia, by Dizzy Bear. I'm that Dizzy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> you can see uh, yeah, a little bear with a little spinnies around his head there. And he's chunky. That is me. He just needs glasses. <laughs> the hours on the door say uh, 10 to 6, 7 days a week. Welcome September and October weekends. So I don't know, it's possible? Possible it could be seasonal? But I think this has been closed for some time now. Oh, here's the October special. $30 for two large pumpkins, four drinks, four moon pies, and four admissions to the porch. Oh, and you have a free viewfinder on the second floor. And again, there's their mascot, uh, Dizzy Bear. Didn't you just get your car washed? Um, yeah, but all the bug guts uh, are still stuck to the front. So people in the comment section said, you got to you got to scrub that off by hand. Oh, well, go get them. I don't, I don't do, you, do you like washing cars? Um, I, in the summer, actually, I don't mind. Maybe we can find like, like can maybe we can find like one of those places where they're doing like a charity car wash. I had to do that in Catholic school. You had to wash people's cars? Yeah. So you know how to do it. Yeah. I've literally never done it. I've Wait, never... you, you've never washed a car? I don't think so. Not just for funsies? What? That's your idea of funsies? I mean, I like cleaning and stuff. Oh my gosh. No, it's fun. Like, I may go... Never, well, you don't like the sun Another either. person said, so she suggested like, um, like if you go through a car wash that has like scrubbies on the front. This one, the one I went to was kind of a small one. They just blasted uh, it with water. Remember when we were in like Montana driving through and there was like a layer of bugs and it smelled really bad? Oh yeah, yeah. Where I almost threw up because yeah. it was... It was seriously like, it's just like a, like, I would say probably three pounds of dead bug no, guts. It was thick. Like on the front of it was the car. really gross. At least it's not that bad. You'll get there. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Let's see, if you look down there, you can still see, I don't know if you guys can see the river down there. Is that a bald eagle? It's quite a, there's like a, yeah, you can see, I mean, there's some eagles flying around. You can see there's a waterfall going down into the river. It's scary. That river is where the, uh, where the, the 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 rafting scenes in Deliverance were filmed. Oh my, it just got scary. Are you okay? I don't like depth. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty far away from the edge. I know. I mean, if you wanted to, you could walk down there no, okay. and look off the edge. I think there's a reason for this. We're taller than a waterfall. You're not supposed to be taller than a waterfall. I mean, if it's a little waterfall. A little baby waterfall. Right, I'm gonna come down here and get a little. There's a, there's a fence for a reason. A little closer of a peek. <laughs> but look, you can tell people have been out here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see that. Again, that's the river where Deliverance, where the rafting scenes were filmed. Way down there at the bottom of Tallulah Gorge. landed here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Center for Puppetry Arts, which also contains the World of Puppetry Museum. Now, when uh, when Jen moved down here, one of the things she told me she wanted to visit was the Center for Puppetry here in Atlanta. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I, I saw Kermit on the sign as we were pulling it. Yeah, we got Kermit here. We got kind of how it works is like a Jim Henson section. And then there's also like a, uh, basically there's two sections. One's like Jim Henson, one's like everything else. Cause you know, he's such a monolith in the puppeting industry. Are you a fan of the Muppets of Sesame yes, Street? absolutely. Who's your favorite Muppet? Snuffleupagus. I don't think <laughs> Snuffleupagus is here. I think, I think he's, that would take like I a think he's too big. Yeah. I think last time I was here, they had, they had Big Bird. 
Ooh, they do like big birds. Big birds. And uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much most Muppets. Most I was Muppets asking are here. If, like salacious crumb or everything. I don't think they. I don't think they have any Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Henson did work. On, did he do those? Yeah, I think he. he might I know he did Yoda. Yeah. But I don't know what else he did as far as. I mean, he may not have done like, Star Wars. I'm not doing very well at this. Is um, Bert and Ernie here? Yeah, Bert and Ernie's here. That's exciting. All right, you want to want to go in and, and meet all your your puppet? I'm probably gonna love them all. You I think you love them like, all? <laughs> all right, we'll, yeah. we'll take a look and decide which puppet you love the most. Yeah. Yay. And before we enter the Center for Puppetry Arts, I wanted to uh, show this down here. Is that the door for puppets? No, this is like a, um, yeah, this is the Tiny Door, Tiny Doors Atlanta. It says, welcome, uh, to, yeah, it says, welcome to the Center for Puppetry Arts. It's a little tiny entrance, I guess, for, I it's for slimy. For, I think it's for, like, gnomes and fairies. And slimy. So, apparently, there are other, like, tiny doors around Atlanta. Hashtag Tiny Doors Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But this is the only one I've ever seen. If anyone knows where any of the other tiny doors are in Atlanta, leave a comment in the comment section. All right, we'll head into one of these regular sized doors. And look at this, as we enter- Give Big Bird's nest! The Big Bird's nest, do you want to be, go be Big Bird? There you go. I'm a bird. And then your mailbox says, B Bird. I'm very excited. B stands for big. Wait till you get inside. This is, no, this is it. We actually get to meet Big Bird. <laughs> And look at here, we have uh, a labyrinth throne. I guess this is the throne of the Goblin King, David Bowie. And look at this, Jen. I didn't even realize I this. I just Jen. got it wet on the sink in the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Jen <laughs> has a uh, labyrinth shirt. I didn't Here's even think about it. There's the Goblin King right there. They actually have some of the puppets. So last time I was here, they had some of the puppets from... Do they have Ludo? Who's Ludo? The big brown monster guy? I don't know if they have Ludo. Who do they have the Ludo? Me, guys, uh, we'll, we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> but do you want to sit in the throne? Yes. The Goblin King throne? I'm very excited. Here, I have to hold the Goblin King staff. Medicine. You look just like David Whoa. Bowie. Yeah, I almost wore my David Bowie shirt. So regardless, I would have been... It was a day, we just woke up and you're like, it's a David Bowie kind of day. Yes, every day is a David Bowie <laughs> kind of day. <laughs> All right, heading into the Worlds of Puppetry Gallery. And this is where you can either go into the Global Collection over here or the Jim Henson section over here. You like that little elephant there? Yeah, who is he? He's really I cute. don't know who this little elephant is. I don't know if he's like the mascot for the museum. He doesn't have a doesn't have a name tag. He's really cute. Alright, looks like we're headed into the Jim Henson section here. You already excited? Jacob, it's Rolf. Yeah, Rolf, yeah. Jacob. There's Rolf, the dog there. With he's he's got his music sheet there. Lydia, the tattoo lady. So down here it'll say where this actually appeared. So most of these are uh, screen use to some point. It says this performed an IBM meeting films. So apparently maybe Jim Henson made some IBM like corporate. Movies. It used uh, used this particular Rolf what for that. Uh, there's not a lot of hugging here at the Puppet Museum. I guess you can hug the plexiglass. <laughs> it's not the same. And here we have Jim Henson's office. Here, you can see he had a uh, glowing paper mache moose head hanging in his office. It says down here that. Uh, he would purchase different art that he found. He said he was particularly fond of art that looked like animals. And he hung up this moose head here prominently in his New York office. During this area, we kind of have the Muppet construction lab here. In the center, we have uh, Dog. His name is Dog from the Storyteller. See some of like the animatronic parts of Dog there. Yeah, you see all the different things that go into making Muppets? This one's like, it's scary. Why? It's like it's a murder a, scene. It's, like, ah! it's just little Muppet, it's just Muppet parts. Like just that. <laughs> <laughs> see, look at that, you can identify some of the parts you look closely like. Yeah, like it's a crime there's, scene. There's a Kermit hand right there. Uh-oh, look at the camel here. 
He's got those big, uh, big camel choppers on him. I think he might, uh, might lunge out and bite us. I think you need to be careful. To be careful. Yeah. Says so this camel's from the Muppet Show. Yeah, it actually kind of does look like I've been bit by camel teeth. It actually kind of is what their teeth look like. <laughs> we have some obscure characters tucked over here. This is Bertha and Brad. I think these are, I think these are Bert's relatives. Maybe they're like family members of Bert that visited. I know Sherlock Holmes. It's not, it's not Sherlock Holmes. Or Sherlock Hemlock. Sherlock Hemlock. Yes, I there. Remember him from Sesame this is Fozzie Amoeba here. Says uh, performed in the Muppet Show by Frank Oz. So that was puppeted by Yoda. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little tree here. This is the little nut tree from uh, Jim Henson's Mother Goose stories. You always like the weird little guys. You like? You think I like the weird ones? Yeah. Yeah, up there the different Muppet supplies. There's blue fur there. Green fur. A lot of different green Some of them actually have the names on them. Rizzo, isn't Rizzo the rat yeah. from the Muppets? Is he in there? And then there's Animal right there. It says the creature shop uses anything Muppets, playing puppets with changeable facial features. So you can make your own anything Muppet here. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh eyes. Oh, they were not sunglasses. You thought they, they were sunglasses? Eyes. Yes. Oh, the magnets on that side. Oh, here's a different mouth. Which one do you like better? You probably like the teeth. The teeth mouth? Ah. We need a nose. Oh, this one has a mustache. There you go. Is that your Muppet there? Yes. Do you like him? Yeah, it's a nice Muppet. <laughs> oh, you got some hair. Some hair. <laughs> I like that hair. Alright, now, now things start to heat up. Jacob. Look at that, Bert. Bert. And or Ernie there. There's Bert with his bottle cap collection. Are you already gasping at something else? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bert and Ernie. Look at him pointing at it like, look at me. Oh, he's pointing at the bottle. He's got a bottle cap there. Yeah, he either stole it from or he's going to put it on Bert's collection. I would like to think that Bert meticulously put these in order. Yeah, didn't Bert, like, didn't Bert, Bert had kind of like some weird like, Fixations, right? He collected yeah. bottle caps, and what was the thing? He liked pigeons. Yeah, he walked like a pigeon. Why do you walk like a pigeon? Doing the that was his pigeon. dance, the pigeon. Yeah. He like did like. The well, pigeon. did he have pet pigeons or? Um, I think he just liked pigeons. He just like. I don't know if they were his pets. Uh, just a pigeon aficionado. Yeah. He also was really, really got irritated at Ernie all the time. I mean, he get really frustrated. He's kind of a past. <laughs> in Ernie, a nice way. Ernie's what? Because Ernie's like sloppy and goofy, and Bert's kind of meticulous. He likes yes. everything a certain way. Yes, I identify with Bert. You identify as a Bert? Yeah, just very like things in order. Like <laughs> we have a thing. Like, Wait, I think I'm a Bert too. Are we two Bert's? I don't know. Like, <laughs> like a pop can, and I think it'll be empty, and I'll pick it up, and you're like, "That's mine! What are you doing?" Oh and yeah, then, yeah, that's true. Yeah. True uh, story. One time, I picked up a oh, sandwich yeah. to take a bite out of it, and Jen took my plate and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> You went to set it down and you're like, I have nowhere to put this sandwich. I thought you were irrationally mad about the situation. I wasn't <laughs> mad. I was more like, su surprised. <laughs> I'm like, in your mouth. I think this is what Jen was distracted by. There is Big Bird himself. Do you remember the Sesame Street movie, Follow That Bird? Uh, I don't know if I've seen it. And Big Bird gets sad and turns blue. Why does he turn blue? Like, cage all by himself. Who puts him in a cage? I don't remember. He gets like captured. This sounds him, terrifying. And blue and like when I was little, I don't remember this, my mom told me like every time he turned blue, I ran into like wherever she was and was sad. I was like, Big Bird's blue. Oh no. So I'm glad he's not blue This here. is the Although happy, cage, this is the happy yellow, yellow Big Bird. I feel like Big Bird went to prison or something, jail. Really? Yeah. And I, I, was I do find this fascinating. Here is Carol Spinney, the man that was the puppeteer in Big Bird. And if you look, this shows how he did it. So he had one arm above his head controlling the mouth of Big Bird. So he was in the full body suit. One of his arms was controlling one of Big Bird's arm, and his other arm stretched high above his head 
controlling the big bird head. That, to me, that's just like an intense physical feat there to be able to pull off puppeting. Yeah, body even like Yeah, I heard that like, yeah, over the course of his life as he got older, his like body changed and contorted because he was so often in this very awkward, unique position there. I also there. really like this drawing. That's, I guess that's the original yeah, concept for, uh, for Big Bird. It's like meeting a celebrity. It really is. It really is like meeting a celebrity. Now when I was a little kid, I think this was my favorite. Grover. I really kind of like, uh, I, I, I related to like his anxiety. <laughs> he was always anxious. And um, as far as Elmo goes, Elmo was, was past my time. I think Elmo showed up when I was a little too old to watch Sesame Street. I have a hatred for Elmo that is unjust. Oh no! I think it's for the same reason that you said. Like as it was like, Elmo like came at the end and I'm like, who's this? Who's this monster? And he kind of took, took over the show. Like yeah. he was the most popular with like young kids. Yeah, but I liked the OG monster. The OG, like Big Bird, yeah, Bert and, and Ernie. Yeah, and like the Elmo show, and I was like, Elmo I show. Like that What are your thoughts on Cookie Monster? He's the greatest blue monster that's ever I was seen. always suspicious when I was a kid, because I was like, I don't think he's really eating those cookies. <laughs> it's just crumbs. I think he's mouth. just crumbling it up in yeah. his mouth and Even spitting them out. Like, what? That's like, not how you eat yeah. a cookie. So you'd just be like, nom, 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 nom. But now Cookie Monster says the cookies are a sometimes snack. Uh, I mean, apples and stuff too. Okay. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, yeah. that it may not be the best role model to show kids someone that endlessly devours sugar and sweets. I think that maybe if he would have told me this when I was younger, I would <laughs> not. Oh no! So, many so it's good. I blame Cookie you Monster. You blame Cookie Monster? Yes, but Grover is amazing, and Super Grover is amazing as well. Oh yeah, I remember Super Grover. Look at this though, you can see like his hand there is kind of like tattered from uh, from oh, eating so cookies easy. and putting his hand <laughs> in his mouth. Yeah, so this is one oh, that actually- he's also performed by Frank yeah, Oz. Yeah, performed by Frank Oz on Sesame Street. So yeah, I guess Cookie Monster and Yoda have the same voice actor. It kind of makes sense. No that like, like both that so gravelly, much. that gravelly voice. So this is Clementine here with Fred the Wonder Horse. I thought Clementine was the name of the horse. Um, I mean, it's not obviously because it's clearly was, labeled. But was Clementine was she the girlfriend of uh, Forgetful Jones? I don't know who Forgetful Jones. I forgot Forgetful Jones. You forgot to forget. He's yeah. like a cowboy that could never remember anything. Oh. I totally forgot about him. I forgot. I am. Now you remember? Do you remember Forgetful Jones? Yes. <laughs> All right. So here we can put on our own puppet show. There's a, a a movie camera there. There's some puppets. A couch. You gonna you gonna do a puppet show for us, Jen? Gonna be the greatest puppet show. Okay. What are you picking? You got an elephant and a tiny elephant. So is that like a mama? Oh, okay. What the you were giving with? The big reveal that they were. What was the big reveal? Then I had two elephants. Oh, okay. <laughs> so everyone forget I have two elephants. All right. So I'm gonna go behind the couch here. Oh, there's the there's the elephant. <laughs> there's the baby elephant. We can actually watch it on this on this movie camera here. I can't hear him talking, Jen. Can you make him walk in and out of this door over here? What door? The door over there. Oh, was it? Okay, okay. So they enter the house. Hey, elephant! <laughs> hey, elephant! <laughs> oh, hey there. Why do they stand behind the couch? <laughs> Where are they supposed to go? I don't know. Are they supposed to sit on the couch? There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. They're prancing through the forest there. Yeah. Oh, damn. Here's some uh, photos of the uh, of the puppeteers performing with the uh, with the Muppets. Ooh. Oh, that's a good camera work there. <laughs> oh, do you look have at, any cookies? Look at this, the, ide the ideal Muppeteer 
Oh. Has a face in their crotch. crotch. In the crotch. And then three arms. Crotch is not cookie. This guy's called Splurge from Hey Cinderella. He's really cool. I guess neither me or Jen have seen uh, Hey Cinderella. I like this one a little tooth. Got one little tooth? Kind of reminds you of Grimace just a little bit. That's what I thought it was when I came in here, but I'm like, no, he didn't. He didn't work on that. Yeah. But uh, it's over here. This is T. R. Rooster from Muppet Land, the Muppet Musicians of Bremen, and Leroy Donkey, also from Muppet Musicians of Bremen. I guess this Leroy album Jenkins. here. Oh, look at this over here. This is. Manamana. Manamana. It goes on for a long time. I mean, I can just keep going if you want. But. This is uh, Miss Kitty here. And uh, I know Scooter. Wasn't familiar with these other ones, but yeah. Do you know and the Manamana? I've heard it before. Oh. I don't know all the words. <laughs> It's mostly menomena. <laughs> What's menomena mean? Although I did not know that's how you spell it. Menomena. I don't, I don't know if it has a meaning. I think it's just something you feel in your heart. <laughs> Jen, have you ever seen this Muppet before? It's Kermit. I have seen Kermit. Have you ever seen Kermit the Frog? Yes. He's probably, I would say, probably the most famous I would think Muppet, so. you because know, he's on both Sesame Street and The Muppet Show. Probably one of the most iconic, uh, almost like Jim Henson's avatar himself. Pigs in space! Are you okay? Pigs in space! I mean, okay, sorry Kermit, Jen saw, Jen saw pigs in space. Yeah, yeah. So let's, uh, here it is. They existed until I saw them out of the corner of my eye. Is it weird that I'm more excited for pigs in space than Kermit? So you watch the you watch the Muppet Show? Yeah. Not as much as Sesame Street. But you liked Pigs in Space? Yes. Do you know Pigs in Space? I do remember Pigs in Space. <laughs> I like their little logo. Their little pig uniform. A little pig. We should go as pigs in space for Halloween. <laughs> I know you don't like costumes. Don't do you know their? Do you know their individual names? No, I have no idea. This is Captain Link Hogthrob, <laughs> and over here is Doctor Julius Strangepork. No, I had no idea. Speaking of pigs, Jen, do you see who's over here? This is uh, Miss Piggy from Muppet Treasure Island. This may not be a popular opinion, but I've never liked Miss Piggy. You don't? You're not a big Miss Piggy fan? I feel like the same way I feel about her is how I feel about Tinkerbell. They were very bossy, like she tried to like control Kermit and... You think she's a domineering uh, partner? I, mean, I like her. I like her look. I think she's very sassy. I just don't think she was the best partner for poor little Kermit. <laughs> I don't, have you ever seen Treasure Island? I haven't seen this. This guy's um, cool. This is Mad Monty. I guess he's a pirate. I know I've seen it. I just don't remember a lot of it. I'm sorry that I... Do you like Miss Piggy? I, I think she's iconic. She is iconic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will go with that, but look over there. Uh-oh, who's over here? Gonzo! His girlfriend chicken! So you were talking about this a minute ago, um, yeah. that Gonzo was in love with a chicken? Yeah. There was a rooster that you showed over there, and then I was like, is that Gato's girlfriend? I'm like, no, that was a chicken. And so here's the chicken, and I'm very happy to see them together still. Here's, here's a, a, penguin. a penguin. Was he also, like... Did you ever watch Muppet Babies? Uh, that was like my favorite show. Like, of all the Muppet shows, Muppet Babies was like number one. Even though it's like the only one that doesn't actually use puppets. Yes, it's and there's animated. a lot of Star Wars episode. What's that? There's a Star Wars oh, yeah. episode. That's one reason that it that it doesn't like they don't have it streaming anywhere. Yeah. It's because they use all these clips from different movies and they can't get the rights. So that was my like absolute favorite. I mean, maybe not above Sesame Street because I watched that a lot, but Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies was is pretty good, and I, I I remember Gonzo was my favorite. Baby Gonzo was my favorite in Muppet Babies. He's really cool. I love the character design of Gonzo. He's really fun. I did like Baby Miss Piggy. Like Baby Miss Piggy better yeah. than Big Miss Piggy. Yes. <laughs> Now, I find these very fascinating. Now, these are from the show uh, called Sex and Violence. The Muppet Show Sex and Violence, one of Jim Henson's early shows. He definitely, um, he kind of had a desire. He wanted to make shows for adults. 
I mean, he was happy with the success for Sesame Street, but it was kind of a double-edged sword because he wanted to make more adult content. But these are the seven deadly sins, or at least four of the seven deadly sins there. There's lust, which is like a, looks like an intestine. <laughs> There's avarice? Avarice? I don't even know what that means. Me neither. Avarice. It looks like greed. Yeah, it looks like greed. He's got money. He's like a cash register. This is vanity, and it actually is a vanity. I thought it was Cogsworth at first. Cogsworth? Yeah. And then Sloth looks just like a sleepy guy ready for bed. The dark crystal section here. Some really cool puppets. Like this is Ag Agura. And I really wanted to, to enjoy the dark crystal. I tried watching it a few times, really couldn't get into it. But I do really love the uh, the puppet design. There is uh, Skekshad the treasurer there. See like the animatronic controls for the head. It's a crystal bat. Yeah, I love this stuff. I really love the, the visuals, but for some reason I just had a hard time getting into the story. This is the Gartham, like a huge monster. I think I do remember these like roll. I think they turned into like a ball and roll. Jen, do you like the fraggles? The fra <laughs> For the this is Red and Wembley and Uncle Traveling Matt. He looks like you. He looks like me. I don't have a mustache. I mean, you have a hat. I you have a hat. A traveler. That's about it. That's I'm not made of felt. No, no, you're not. But I mean, I see the reason. If you got rid of the mustache, like I think it would be you. And uh, some other things here from Fraggle Rock. What are these guys called? The Doozers. I loved them so much. They're oh like goodness, little, I didn't know they were little construction workers there. I thought they were the cutest thing. <laughs> you like the Doozers? Yeah, and there's the dog. Sprocket the dog. Yeah, I didn't remember the dog's name. Oh, it's, he's so cute. <laughs> he's cute? No, I always thought he was the cutest thing. And fitting in with Jen's shirt here, we are in the labyrinth section. Look, it's the talking door knocker. To the talking door knocker there. And then these, the these guys, yeah, they like, they ask, they ask a riddle, I think. Yeah. At the door here. Got some other puppets here from labyrinth. The little blue worm there. This is a cannonball with arms and legs. And a uh, a plaster cast of Hoggle. Now, Jen, carpet bagger pop quiz. Do you I'm ready. do you know why <laughs> Hoggle isn't here? He's right there. No, that's just the plaster mask. Do you know uh, the actual, like the, actual puppet? the actual puppet's not here. Do you know where? Do you know? Do you know why he's not here? He's on vacation in the Bahamas. No. He's on vacation in Switzerland. No, he's actually. He's at the museum, oh, you know the museum in DC that has like derby slippers and stuff. The Smithsonian. Yeah. He's no. There. No. He's you not. Stolen. He's at the unclaimed, <laughs> the unclaimed uh, baggage museum in Scottsboro, Alabama. As in, he was on a plane with someone and they forgot him. They lost him. Yeah. They lost his, he was the in. Luggage? The actual hoggle puppet was in someone's suitcase. They were transporting him on an airplane. He got lost. And for some reason, they were never able to. Strangely enough, they were never able to, to, to connect him back to his owner because I guess they're really bad at uh, at losing luggage. But he's still there. They kept him. Um, they never recovered him. But he's, you, you can actually go there to the Unclaimed Baggage Museum in uh, Scottsboro, Alabama, and see Hoggle. Right next to like the like lost galoshes. They have other like weird stuff that was lost. <laughs> so he's like in the weird section of like probably the weirdest thing. No, that is. Weird, yeah, that was no lost. Yeah, this is from a show I've never, never seen. It's 1989 Dog City. So it looks like you have like a dog police officer, maybe some dog mobsters here. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun. Jen, have you ever eaten a crystal? Of Chris. No, that's not true. We drove past one and you said it's similar to something else. It's like the southern version of White Castle. Yeah, that's what you said. So you can see all the all the menu items here in puppet form. I really like the puppets. There's the country fried 
steak sandwich there. I like that you can see like the glove, like how it's <laughs> done, so you have to be like, bah, bah, bah. I like the traditional crystal burger there. I like the fries and the hot dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the little hot dogs, ow! <laughs> All right, heading into the global collection, puppets from around the world. So here is Crow T. Robot and Tom Servo. Did you ever watch yes. Mystery Science yes. Theater 3000? This may have been the best thing so far. Really? Yeah. This is better than Sesame Street, better than Muppets? Um, I mean, Pigs in Space and this so far are <laughs> Those are my top two so far. No, this is really cool. I went to go see it live and like held a Tom Servo and was super excited. And they have little Funkos of them. And it's, it's what, a, do you like Miss Beach Nights I do, I do. I've seen it, uh, I, I, I didn't, I feel like it was always hard to find on TV. It was on sci-fi. It was on sci-fi, I feel like it was on, I think originally it was like on like, I think it was syndicated and yeah, it was, it was like on, like, public broadcasting. like late at night, but yeah, it was always a lot of fun. I remember I had a friend that would tape it on VHS and let me borrow it. And then they rebooted it on Netflix, and it still kind of held up. I would guess, but if anyone, yeah, anyone not familiar with it, basically, they would play an old public domain movie, like a B movie, and then the robots would watch it, and they would just make fun of the movie, make wisecracks uh, while the movie was playing. Now, I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is a, a new addition. This was not here last time I visited. They have, here at the Center, for, Center of Puppetry Arts, they have Chucky. This is a screen used Chucky used from the Chucky television show, which I actually uh, have watched quite a few episodes of the Chucky TV show. But that's hilarious. He's here in the same, in the same building as Bert and Ernie and Big Bird and Grover. We have uh, Chucky the Killer Doll and a real one. So this one really, this is like animatronic, so it's really moved. We have the, one of the most famous possessed dolls, and this one actually moves. It's not gonna move now, because there's no puppet, no puppeteer activating it, but uh, just look at that, look at the detail on there. So other famous uh, pop culture puppets. This is uh, from Corpse Bride. We have Victor Van Dort and the Corpse Bride herself. This is stop motion puppetry. Where they actually, you know, they actually have to manually move everything and then take one photo, move it again, take another photo, and uh, another famous figure in stop motion puppetry is Gumby. Definitely loved Gumby when I was a kid. Yeah, they do have some just amazing puppets from all over the world here, the different styles from uh, different countries here. is uh, Mae West and Carol Channing. We put on our own puppet show here. Since you did the last puppet show, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do this one. You're gonna fight the dragon? We have a, oh yeah, we have a, uh, some knights gonna fight a dragon. Oh, there's even a seat to watch. Can you see that? I can't. Are you putting, or, oh, I thought you were feeling out the controls. I didn't know this was the actual show, I'm sorry. I thought you were feeling out the controls first. I didn't realize that was the show. So these are the classic Punch and Judy puppets. It's kind of like a classic uh, puppet show that you do in like old timey days where Punch would, uh, would fight with Judy here. They, they would like smash each other and then there's some other Additional characters such as the devil and the alligator. Yeah, they have a whole display on Punch and Judy here. Some more of the puppets. This is Judy here, her baby, and a very spooky ghost. There's some uh, Spanish puppets here.
Here is Scar. This is a prototype for the puppets used in the Lion King Broadway show. This wolf puppet here, you can see it has some animatronic components inside. Some Japanese puppets here. Ooh, look at that. This one's very interesting. This is Ravana. It's a puppet from India. I really like that. All these different shadow puppets on the wall here. We can actually do our own shadow puppets. Jen's got Ooh. one and I've got the other, so that's ah. how the controls work here. I can't punch you. Are we fighting? Punch, punch, punch. Oh, I saw we were. Fight, fight, fight. I thought it was like Rock'em Sock'em Robots with shadows. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Yeah, I'm gonna punch your head off. Punch, punch, punch. Look at my muscles. Why aren't you punching? I'm trying to punch. My guy doesn't oh. punch very good. Oh. I am superior. Let's check out the special exhibit gallery. They kind of have a rotating exhibit in here. It, uh, let's see, it, it, okay, it, it's Puppetry Now, featuring Nepri Amani. So I'm not familiar with this artist, but let's, uh, let's check out their work. Yeah, so some of this is really amazing here. This is a puppet of Martin Luther King Jr. It says this was a performance uh, done at the, uh, Brooklyn Children's Museum. There's some really beautiful and amazing work in here. This is called the the dinner party. This here is called Yemi Naki and the Jellyfish. You can see the jellyfish there actually moving and rotating, and uh, how the mermaid. Puppet there amongst the jellyfish. Yeah, you can see the figure there hatching out of the egg. And then the watermelon watermelon patch down here. And this is very unique. You have this, uh, I guess it's combining puppetry with vinyl uh, records. See, that's actually a record player. So the uh, the figures would would dance as the record turns. Apparently, M is for members, museum, and memories. All right, and let's exit through the gift shop. Yeah, look at this. You can buy a wide variety of puppets here. What's that guy? I don't know. I like, like that he was like a. Oh, is he like a little? He's a little goblin. <laughs> he's like a little alien. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like this little little dapper badger. I know, I like him too. Little dapper badger there. Badger, 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 badger. Yeah, some of these are really fun. Mushroom. Oh, and there's a there's a Sasquatch. Or maybe it's just a maybe I thought that was a monkey. Maybe it's just a monkey. There's some uh, dinosaur puppets up here. And uh, oh look at these, Jen. There's different they have all different varieties of bears. You can be a black bear, you can be a brown bear, you can even be the most vicious bear of them all, a polar bear. Look at his tongue. Or you can be a dog. Or a cat. Look at his tongue. Can you make it say, <laughs> is it gonna say meow? Meow. Yeah. Great, great cat puppetry. Meow. Yeah. Whoa, what's in the tongue? That's what I said. I don't like that. Now, I've heard of pup cups. Pup in a cup. But this is ridiculous. Oh. Are there different pups? Oh, okay. There's a corgi in that one. There's different pups and different cups. Oh. Is that a pug? Pup a pug in a cup. Is that a pug in a mug? Pug in a mug. That was a good job. <laughs> it is pug in a mug. <laughs> in the Jim Henson section, we have some uh, Sesame Street pennants there. He's represented. Oh, you did find Snuffle I up found against. Snuffy. You know, we don't have a we don't have an actual puppet, but we do have a little gift shop uh, plushy He's snuffy. My imaginary friend. And here you have some pins from the Dark Crystal, as well as the Labyrinth. There's Hoggle, even though the actual Hoggle is not here, but he's in the uh, in the unclaimed baggage museum in Alabama. It's still pretty cool. Here is their T-shirt selection. Well, this one shows like a hand inside an alligator head. 
And look at this little guy here. That's oh, a bookmark from him. Monster at the end of this book. It's the best book in the world. Oh yeah, one of my favorite books as a kid. Yeah, my sister they don't, loved it. They have, they don't think they actually no, have they it. They have another monster at the end of the book, what? which heightens my hatred oh, for no. Elmo. Elmo! <laughs> Encroaching on Grover's. Elmo's taking over. I didn't know there was another monster at the end of this book. No, I didn't have to know yeah, bring, I, I think I'll stick with the OG monster at the end of the book. I really like this bookmark. All right, Jim, what did you think? That was the greatest place that we've ever been. You got a good time? Yes. I got a magnet. You got your magnet? It has the little elephant on there we yeah, saw. Yeah, I don't even know his name. I'm not sure what his name is. I think he's like, kind of like the mascot. Yeah, he's really cute. Of, uh, of the center of puppetry. Now, what was your favorite? I was just gonna ask you what your favorite thing was here. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm always, always, the Sesame Streets always like brings out a lot of nostalgia in me, but I was really excited. I mean, it was brand new, so it was a new thing. I was really excited to see the Chucky, the Chucky puppet here. That was brand new, I wasn't expecting to see it. I liked Mystery Science Theater, but Science. I also liked Pigs in Space and Menomina and all the Fraggles with the little guys, what are they called? Like yeah, the so losers. much. That's one thing here is there's just like so many. I'm just naming everything. I also like this. Like I remember the first time I came, it was just like around every corner. I was like, blah, blah, blah. I know. Blah. That's all I've been doing. You're like, Jen, now what? I'm like, Ooh. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> it's, it's more Muppets. It Muppets. almost like overwhelms you because it's just so much. Like, yeah, you yeah. see Bert and Ernie and then there's Big Bird and then Grover and then Kermit. Yeah. Miss Piggy, just one after no, another. The rooms aren't that big, so you just turn around and you're like, what? Oh, you're completely more surrounded by, by famed. Uh, you have to go back Muppets. at Christmas. Yeah, sometimes I don't. Last, I don't know if it was last year, the year before I went, and they had the actual puppet for Rudolph. So I'm just one of Jen's favorites, yes. so I'm sure. We will be back. Sure that. You have to take me. Okay, 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 okay. Make him take me. I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> but they're going to be like, dear carpetbagger, please take Jen. To the puppets at Christmas. Signed. I think they. I don't know if they. Again, I don't know what they do when they do it, but they they do puppet shows here as well. They do have know, their. Really wanna... They do have their own Rudolph puppet show that they do. That's based on the um, the stop motion See, uh, specials. Here, I want to just like move to Atlanta and become a puppeteer and go to all the puppet shows. And... <laughs> I mean, they do classes. They do workshops here. So I mean, if you're interested in being a puppeteer, Jen, I you be can a go for it. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys joining us today here at the Center for Puppetry. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, sorry me off, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, I, if you like these videos, please, please <laughs> subscribe. I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. You can check out Jen's channel, Jenny Penny, on YouTube. Yeah. If uh, you'd like to help support this channel in other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more to get your postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel to pins. To my new puppet classes. To help support sending Jen to puppet school. Yes. <laughs> Playing enamel pins at the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. And of course all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this puppet on its strings. Until next time my friends, this one's in the puppet! In the bag.